Recent Ahrefs research shows that 97% of web pages get zero organic search traffic from Google. So what does the top 3% do differently? Well, that's what you're going to learn right now. I'll show you a proven four pillar SEO blueprint to help you rank number one in Google. For example, this page grew by 214% in only 30 days using this blueprint. Then we use it again to grow this website's organic traffic by 300%. So if you're new here, I'm Nathan Gotch, and for over a decade, I've led hundreds of successful SEO campaigns in the most competitive industries, such as legal, health, and SaaS. I'm also the founder of the number one SEO training program, Gotch SEO Academy, author of The SEO Entrepreneur, and co-founder of Rankability. So let's begin with pillar number one, exploit your SEO competitors. So search your keyword on Google and then open up the top five competitors. Next, create a Google sheet because we'll identify the competitor's strengths and and weaknesses. The first step is to study their on-page SEO. So while on the competitor's page, click on the detailed Chrome extension, copy the title and meta description, and add it to the Google Sheet. Then click on the Headings tab, copy the H1 text, and add it to the Google Sheet as well. Then go to the page, copy the first official paragraph, and add it to the Google Sheet. The last step is to run the keyword through Rankability's Content Optimizer. Click on the Competitors tab, copy the Rankability score, and add it to the Sheet. The Rankability score simply measures a page's relevance and topic coverage compared to the top competitors for that keyword. Then just repeat this process for the rest of the top five competitors and do it for your target URL if you have one. And if you're not ranking in the top 100, you can still collect your Rankability score by entering your URL on the competitors tab. And once you have all the data, it's time to analyze. Let's start with the URL column. In this example, only one competitor uses the best URL structure, which includes the whole keyword phrase. The other four competitors are missing Chicago in the structure. Imagine if we remove the root domain and you had to figure out what the page was about without looking at the content. That's what you're forcing Google to try to figure out. And Google is good at understanding relevance, but it's far from perfect. You need to treat the algorithms like a one-year-old, spoon feed it the inputs it needs to fully understand your page's content. And it begins with the URL. Next, look at the title tag. Notice that the top three three competitors have the exact match phrase in the title. This is perfect. Number four and number five have the keywords mixed in, but it doesn't explicitly state the exact match keyword phrase. And our example page doesn't include lawyer or Chicago in the title. They could climb at least 25 spots in the rankings by simply changing their title tag. And this isn't theory. Google's leaked documents have a feature called title match score, which measures how well the title matches the keyword. Now moving on to the meta description, which is a tiny factor, but there are a few things to note here. First, simply having a meta description and including the primary phrase might be a tiny ranking factor. Secondly, I recommend not including your phone number in the title or the meta description. Now this might seem counterintuitive because the goal is to drive leads, but from an SEO perspective, you want searchers to actually click through on your result because organic CTR is a proven ranking factor. Remember that your title and meta description aren't visible to users on your website, but appear in Google search results. The H1 tag, on the other hand, is what users can see and it's essential for SEO. And the top three competitors in this example are doing it correctly, but the others are not. Next, you should include the primary keyword phrase in the first paragraph. Once again, the top ranking result is doing this incredibly well. And last, but definitely not least, you need to measure topic coverage for your page. And the top two competitors competitors have the most relevant and comprehensive pages for this target keyword. I'll cover how to do this later in the video. So at this point, we haven't even studied the pages themselves, but it's already clear how to win by simply exploiting the competitors on page SEO weaknesses. But now that we have the basics covered, it's time to identify our angles of differentiation. I analyzed the top 10 for this keyword and found multiple angles for winning. Number one, match the intent 100% perfectly. If someone is searching for motorcycle accident attorney, they or someone they know has likely been in an accident. That means that the goal of this page is to get the searcher to know, like, and trust the lawyer. And that's accomplished by creating bottom of the funnel or conversion focused content like testimonials, case studies, unique selling propositions, and any other information that helps the prospect make an educated decision. Now, what shouldn't be on this page is safety tips for bikers. This type of content is fine for a blog 
post, but it doesn't match the intent of the keyword phrase. In other words, that type of content doesn't help this person get closer to their goal of hiring a competent lawyer and getting a sizable settlement. Number two, crush the competition with better content design. So having words just to have words doesn't help SEO or conversion rate optimization. Instead, you should scrutinize every page element, section, and the copywriting. Ask one simple question. Does this help the prospect get closer to becoming a lead? I'll show you how to design your content using real life examples later in the video. And now moving on to number three, install engagement triggers. So it's now proven that Google uses user signals as one variable to determine rankings. And there are ways to ethically increase engagement on your page while helping users achieve their goals. In this example, we could add extremely well-produced video that gets users to click, watch, and increase their dwell time on the page. We could also create and embed a micro calculator specifically for motorcycle accidents on this page. For example, how much is your motorcycle accident case worth? A simple calculator embedded on this page will massively increase the volume of user interaction on the page itself. So at this point, we know how to differentiate from our competitors. Now it's time for pillar number two, which is feed the machine. So NLP or natural language processing is the technology used by Google, Amazon, Facebook, and other tech giants to understand human language. And we can use it in the context of SEO to create insanely relevant pages that Google's algorithms love. Here's how it works. Simply enter a keyword into rankability and the tool scrapes the content from the top competitors and uses NLP to extract topics from that content. As a result, the NLP recommendations are simply what your top competitors cover in their pages. And you want to cover the same topics, but with better quality, depth, and differentiation. But the first step is to build an effective outline. So go back into rankability, copy the NLP keywords, open ChatGPT, and use the following prompt. And now we'll take this outline to the next level. Copy the law firm's about page and feed that back into ChatGPT to revise the outline. Then just paste the outline back into rankability. Now add a human touch to the outline, and once you're confident, it's time for pillar number three, which is create an addictive page. And that begins with copywriting, but there's a dilemma. Should you use AI or human to write this content? Well, I analyzed the top five results for Chicago Motorcycle Accident Lawyer, and three of five use human written content, including the number one result, who you should try to dethrone. So in this case, I would go with human written content. So go back to Rankability, click share, enable the shared link, copy it, and open it up. This link will allow the copywriter to see the content brief, and they'll be able to write the content within the content optimizer without even needing an account. Advise your copywriter to hit the low end of the word count target, as this will force them to create lean and compelling copy. They should also aim for the optimal rankability score, ensuring your page is more relevant than the top competitors. And most importantly, tell your copywriter not to worry about how often they mention a specific topic. Instead, focus on covering each topic entirely. Now that may take a sentence or an entire paragraph, but focus on topic coverage, not keyword stuffing. So once the copy is ready and fully optimized, it's time to design your content. An effective lead generation page should really be designed like a sales page. And that means you need to focus on the core elements of persuasion, such as emotion, logic, and fear. But before we geek out about persuasive copywriting, you need to brainstorm the offer for this page. And no, free consultation is not an offer. You need to give a searcher a reason to contact you right now. Pretend that this is the only opportunity you get to capture this lead. What kind of offer would you give them? Well, the good news is you don't have to be David Ogilvy to formulate a strong offer. Just open ChatGPT and use the following prompt. In seconds, you'll have a solid offer to build upon. And once you're satisfied, it's time to mock up the page. Now, don't reinvent the wheel. That's why I recommend keeping a swipe file of design elements and marketing techniques you like. Use the following techniques to build an SEO-driven commercial page that actually converts. Number one, obsess about your above the fold section. You've probably heard that 80% of people only read headlines, and it's true. You can get the evidence yourself by installing user tracking software like Mouseflow, and in about a week, you'll realize that most people don't scroll, and that means that your above the fold section is critical to success. This lawyer keeps it insanely simple and makes the CTAs the star of the show. And this law firm uses a strong headline 
Wine, CTA, and Social Proof. Finally, my favorite showcases a beautiful design, a form above the fold, and quick, unique selling propositions. Number two, pour on the Social Proof. 97% of consumers look at reviews before buying a product, and testimonials can increase conversions by 34%. That's why Social Proof in the form of written testimonials, client results, and video testimonials are an integral part of any effective commercial page. Number three, use logic. So Zig Ziglar said people buy on emotion and justify with logic. And that's why 80% of the elements on your page should appeal to emotion. However, a segment of buyers is heavily influenced by logic. And that's why you should include sections like this one that outline the legal process that they're about to go through. Or this one that hits on the firm's unique selling propositions. All right, so now moving on to pillar number four, force Google to trust your website. Google recently said that its ranking system Systems aim to understand if a section of a site is independent or starkly different from the main content of the site. That means that Google's algorithms will prefer a website that stays within its circle of competence. In the case of our keyword, we must create many supporting assets to train the algorithm to believe we're experts in this field. Start by looking at the people also ask section on Google when you search your primary keyword. Based on results, we can create supporting assets like how much are most motorcycle accident settlements in Chicago? Why do Chicago insurance companies total motorcycles with little damage? And what are the odds of having a motorcycle accident in Chicago? So within just a few minutes, you'll have tons of ideas to build support around your main page. But just make sure that you internally link back out to your commercial page from all these informational assets but most importantly, cross-link these informational assets together to form a strong cluster. Next, open SEMrush, enter your domain, go to Backlink Analytics, and click on Indexed Pages. Then you'll see the most powerful pages on your website from a Backlink perspective. Look for opportunities to add internal links on these pages to your SEO-driven commercial page. And after that, it's time to create linkable content. So the truth is that not all content is linkable. For example, a page about what time is it in Chicago won't be effective for link building. However, a page like 75 Chicago motorcycle accident statistics for 2025 is much more likely to work for link building purposes. So here are a couple of techniques you can use to create more linkable content. Reverse engineer your competitors. So enter your competitor's domain in SEMrush, click on backlink analytics, and go to index pages. Now you'll see all the pages that have attracted the most backlinks. Then just repeat this process for your domain as well. What's worked to attract backlinks to your website. Then just do more of what works. The next technique is to use ChatGPT. So just use the following prompt to generate endless link bait ideas with ChatGPT. Just pick one idea from the syntax and you'll have ideas to work on within a few seconds. And then once you've created a few linkable assets, it's time to launch a link building campaign. Watch the next video to learn nine proven link building strategies we used to grow a client's organic search traffic by 300%.